Hey guys, Ripley Gamer here with another Sims 4 build for you guys. So today, after making the spring-based wedding venue, the very spring-inspired a uh, lot from the last build, I decided to make another build based around a season. So today I'm making the win the Snow Lodge, a winter-based uh, community lot, which is going to be a cafe with an ice rink and some Christmas uh, decorations and pine trees. And I was kind of inspired because I wanted to do a winter-based winter based uh, lot which would be able to use the ice rink and I want to make a summer based lot which can use the roller rink so I figured it'd be good to start with uh, making the snow lodge which um, is partly inspired by the Bournemouth uh, winter wonderland around December time we went to Bournemouth uh, for over Chris just before Christmas for like a small like a uh, mini holiday before going back to my boyfriend's for Christmas and we ended up having a really good time and we got to visit the winter wonderland they have like a big ice rink there's like this big snow lodge oh this like big winter lodge which is like um you can get like hot drinks and I think alcohol there as well so I was kind of inspired by that to make a sort of coffee shop which would have lots of hot drinks and hot foods and you could have um like a good time in there and you'd be able to go ice skating so it'd be prime for the winter season but we're building it in the spring right now, there's no snow currently. So I'm here just making the bathrooms quickly because building the bathrooms first is always kind of something, you know, you get them out the way, it's a bit easier. So you can see I've kind of put the, 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 I'm trying to think the word, the, the soap dispenser there along with some uh, nice little uh, windows, or not windows, but uh, small mirrors and putting like the bin in the corner with uh, the paper towel dispenser because, you know, they're there and they feel like they should be used on community lots to make it a little more realistic. So I'm working on now just doing like the front bit of the door and I ended up going with a Strangerville uh, front door because it looked really good. Uh, which one was it again? Not that one, that one. In a nice brown like wooden shades because it's meant to be kind of like, it's very log cabin inspired. So I wanted it to re kind of reflect with lots of wooden, like, you know, siding details and floors and then be able to put lots of decorations in. I also realized that there's like a really cool coffee shop, uh, like neon sign from Get Together, that tr which I never noticed before. And I thought that was pretty cool when I saw it. So I put like some little counters here, some more counters here for the back. So you've got like a nice, uh, so you've got some space for the coffee. Uh, to be made for the baristas to work on and then you got some small shelvings to add to uh, the decorations so there's room for them to get round and also a fridge because I think a fridge is always needed in these types of situations and a bin and I put like a little plant in there just for some decoration to fill up the space there and I was going through the decals and I used a lot of the get together uh, uh, clutter because a lot of it is very coffee shop based anyway because get together is when coffee shops were introduced and I love the uh, sort of autumnal vibe you can get from from it so I added that in the nice neon light which I didn't, didn't notice before but now that I've got it it actually looks pretty good and putting up one of the club signs with a little coffee little coffee symbol on it as a kind of like get your hot drinks here kind of thing and adding in some more like smaller decorations just to give it a little bit more more realism to it, make it fill up nice and make it look quite cute in general. I was kind of going for cute for this place and giving it some more wintry autumn cabin kind of vibes to it because this is very, very like good to use seasons for because there's a lot of like colors that seasons brought in color swatches which really add to like this, like uh, the theme of like a lot. So I was using the uh a lot of the reds and browns to kind of coincide with the winter theme whilst that's more based with autumnal but also putting in lots of like green as well so you got um so you got that winter feeling and also adding um I added that in I think that was just more for just decoration and I added in I added in a nice fireplace because it's a log cabin inspired thing and also a bunch of tables and some chairs in front of the fireplace it's just an idea to get um and a big like round table over there in the corner as well so you've got somewhere for, for like a small group to sit down on this was more so I could get a good idea on like I, I didn't want it to be too cluttered but I didn't want there to be like barely anywhere for there to sit because this is mostly people are going to come here for hot drinks but mostly they only come in probably after ice skating or before they go ice skating which is kind of the idea I was going for and I added in some uh, nice uh, the season seats because they look really nice it's a good color scheme I did end up using laundry based rugs and a I think I used the seasons 
yeah, the season fireplace, because that looks really nice. And I did put a picture above it, but I feel like maybe I could have put a window there instead. But that nice, that picture there looked really cool. And I used the uh, windows from Strangeville as well, because they, like, it's uh, it looks really good, and it adds to, like, the theme of the, of the, of, like, a lo the log cabin kind of nicely. And then I did end up putting more decal in after, but first I had to figure out the siding on what was going to be the outside of the area so we ended up going for this nice kind of uh, season base bit here added that roof there and I actually did the roofs this time without too much uh, help from my boyfriend I was able to get an idea of what the roof was going to look like and I, I was kind of going for that log cabin kind of uh, feel initially but he did help me out with putting some like decorations on the roof too so it looked a little more realistic so that looks good right there and then I'm showing it off and then I started to put in some rugs here. The one thing I love about this is I love challenges and trying to do themes with certain lots. So a snow-based, like winter-based coffee shop was like a really fun little sort of challenge to do. And I love these laundry like day rugs where it's just like three rugs all piled on top of each other. And the colour schemes are really good. So with here I got my boyfriend's help to make some uh, extra wall like rooms up here to make it look like they're... Um, or to make it look like they're, like they're rooms in the top, but there's not going to be anything in them. It's just more purely for decoration. And made sure they both fit and fixed them up so they were all in the right scheme. And just add in, these are season windows here. I like those windows. And then just make it all look a bit look a bit neater. Same with the windows and the, or with the flooring and the walls. So, you know, it makes it look like there's something in there. But it looks really good from a decorative standpoint. And then I used that cool like seasons uh, chimney there I thought that was really nice and then using that little like spinny wind thing that I've forgotten what that thing is called I'm not sure I've seen I see them on top of buildings but I can't remember what they're actually called and then we started to just grab some more decorations more winter based decorations so we could put them on and just see how they look and also a little kids like activity table because kids will get bored maybe they want to do something maybe they want to play or or do some coloring so having some a little activity table would be would be good. I think I did miss out one of the windows putting one of the uh, uh, garlands over it. And then I put that full, like, full wreath there. I thought that was quite nice. And then I started adding just some more outside decorations, working on using, um, using a lot more things to fill up the space, but also to make it look very kind of winter-based, inspired by what I saw in Bournemouth. And I also wanted to use the really large rink, so I moved everything over put it over to the side here so you've got like a lot of space for the rink and also you've got like a decent little pathway to the coffee shop and I did end up changing with these so I figured it was easier to put them along the edges here so it looked a little more like kind of not so much like closed off but it made it look like it was actually like a place where you have to go through somewhere to get to the coffee shop where it's not just open plan and they used a lot of the trees as well, lots of like winter pine trees to uh, fill up the space as well and to sort of isolate the back. So I used this nice like pine needle earth from the outdoor retreat uh, pack, which looks really good. I like that. And that made a nice little like pathway to the coffee shop. And then I added pine trees because these things are great. Pine trees are like the essence of winter when you think about it. So I was like, you gotta have pine trees gotta have pine trees because they don't lose color in the winter i don't think they don't they, they they lose some pine needles but as far as i know they don't like go bare they don't go bare and it, it was pretty good to uh put those there and also found some more holiday decor i love that the the updates they keep adding to the holiday pack you get a little more each time and i thought these were pretty good so moving these little like snowmen at the front here putting these little coffee shop vendors or hot chocolate winter vendors from seasons there so people can get some hot drinks outside as well if they want to and putting some of the more pine trees in just to fill up the space around the area and putting some some oh god the words the, i'm losing the worst benches outside and a bin as well so and then just putting a little more earthy dirt under just so it feels like you know the ground's been dug up and it looks like uh, it fits and then I couldn't think of a name initially it was gonna be like winter wonderland because I was I was thinking of like the only name that was coming to me was Tundra Town from from Zootopia or Zootropolis in the UK and then I decided to just add uh, some more dirt just to make it look a little more realistic like pine needles under the trees 
and then to look like the post had been dug up and I called it the Snow Lodge because that sounded like such a cute little name and here's the the lodge in general it looks really good I'm really happy with how it turned out and if you like the Snow Lodge I will be making a summer based uh lot next and I hope you guys tune in to see that one. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye now.